have a special guest this morning. Please welcome Golden Globe winning actress Gina Rodriguez. Yes. That was something that was introduced to me by my daughter Harper over the weekend. She was pouring over what looked like hieroglyphics. I said, what are you looking at? I, it was, I heard about it all weekend long. I called into the producers. I said, we have to talk about this. This is breaking news. So do you guys believe in astrology? Does anybody believe in their sign? Yeah. <laughs> Gina, do you I'm think, not are, you, are you a Leo? I'm a Leo. I'm a lion. But well, I no well, longer your am. Hold your lion. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Something has happened. NASA has declared that there are not 12, but 13 astrological that signs. I know. Apparently, there, there always have been 13 signs. It's just that the Babylonians, 30,000 years ago, when they were building the calendar, you know, 12 seemed neater, so they left one out. 3,000 3, years ago, this happened. NASA says they have, they're not doing anything about this. They just did the math, and then also that the sun and the way it's the access, uh, it's spinning a little bit differently. So, uh, so they made some changes. You don't have to follow it. <laughs> we went just far enough right there. there That's plenty go. of explanation. Right. Yes, yes. Uh, the 13th sign is called Ophiuchus. And what it means is that your sign may be changed. So, Gina, you're our guest. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do you first. Uh, you are, your birthday is what? <laughs> July 30th. July 30th. So you all, your whole life you've been a Leo. A Leo. No, sorry, honey. I'm a crab. You are now a crab. You're I'm, a cancer. I'm hard on the outside, but soft on the inside. I think it's true, though. Yeah. So you, you have George, no choice. I, I, I'm, I'm really upset. upset. I, have, I did not like this news. I think George, George is no longer. He was. He thought he was all light and fabulous. He's an Aquarius. You are now a Capricorn. Right. And, yeah. and, and you are. Yeah. <laughs> I will say the good news, though, in all of this is you do get to adopt the positive characteristic exactly. traits of your new sign. So I was a Libra, now I'm a Virgo, which apparently are intelligent and modest, which I may not have been before. <laughs> You have to get rid of that tattoo you had before. Right. I mean. <laughs> oh, oh, you had that big one across your back. Yeah, that's right. That leaf, that, that, those scales I had. Yeah. You're gonna have to. I'm, I'm upset about this, though. I am too. Because I, I'm gonna, I don't, I'm a little loath to admit it, but I read my horoscope every morning. You still I feel read like it. it's so I'm into me. it. I, I read my I do. I mean, that's a conversation of identity. How we like right. start to identify ourselves. Right. I'm an Aquarius. I am not a Capricorn. Well, then you keep on believing, girl. <laughs> well, wait, it doesn't. I know you read it every morning, but that. <laughs> Kind of well, uh, uh, NASA you, says. Did you say they chose that the whole thing's kind of like, ridiculous? Yeah, yeah right? Right? Well, George. To that end, NASA says before you freak out, please keep in mind astrology is not real science. No. <laughs> but I love how NASA's weighing in. Yeah, yeah. Not, but they do feel the need to weigh Ultimately, in. Ultimately, I'm just yeah. disappointed in the Babylonians all those years ago. Yeah. I mean, how could they screw that up? Yeah. <laughs> what were they thinking? <laughs> trying to be neat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, well. so since you've now slammed the Babylonians, we can move yeah. on <laughs> to a more inspiring story. That's right. We have a very inspiring this morning. Tammy Ray, McRae works at Carver Elementary School in the cafeteria. She lost over 100 pounds by simply eating the food she serves her students for wow, breakfast and lunch. Wow. So Tammy's joining us this morning. I'm from Baytown, Texas. <laughs> What made you decide Thank you to so push? Thank so much. That's so nice of you to uh, say. She's loving the applause. Well, tell us what made you push for the change in your life. Well, I was 260 pounds, and I got a job as a nutrition manager, but then I realized I wasn't very nutritious. So I decided to make a change, start being a part of my own life. Mm. And that's what made me want to lose the weight for my kids that I had to inspire to eat better. Yep. I thought, well, let me join them. I love it. And you did it so successfully, losing over 100 habits. pounds. Now, it was the only thing you did was to eat the food you serve your students. Did you make any other changes in your life? 
Nope, I just stuck to the menu at our school. Wow. 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 this nutrition change changed your life? Well, I am now part of my own life. I go fishing, I mow my own lawn, and I just say for anyone else out there that's thinking of making a change, go for it. Yeah. Yes. Be a part of your own life. Well, congratulations, Tammy. You look fantastic, and thanks for inspiring us all this morning. From the nutritional food at the school, and, and Gina, you've recently spoken out against photoshopping. Uh, yeah, I mean, speaking out against it or just having a conversation about it, I, you know, I think that the amazing supporters of my show and that have been a part of my career journey, they they look at these un, you know unrealistic expectations, and I think that we're bombarded by images that constantly remind us that we're not worthy enough, not you know skinny enough, or tall enough, or dark enough, or light enough, or whatever it may be. That um, work, artists are kind of contributing to that by not standing up for the fact that they can't be themselves when presenting mm -hmm. themselves. And I think art is about relating to human life. And if you're not living it, then it's really difficult to relate to it. And I, I think the young girls that are a part of my awesome journey, I want them to know that. You know, I'm battling the same kind of insecurities, and um, and I too want to feel enough every day. So when I look at a magazine cover and it doesn't look like me, that can be really damaging to myself. But when it looks like me, then I'm like, there I am, and I am enough, and people are going to buy the magazine, and they are going to be a part of this journey. It's so regardless. important for these young girls to yeah. be there. Yeah. Absolutely. And Jimmy, I, I had a chance to meet you just backstage before we all came out, and you have this beautiful, glowing personality, and you said you'd like to be. The, the first Latina Oprah? <laughs> <laughs> Which I can kind of see. C can you give us your best Oprah impersonation? Oh, yeah. I love bread! <laughs> no, I mean, I think what's beautiful about Oprah, not only does she inspire everyone across the board, but her ability to bring together a community mm. and have a voice for that community and outlets for that community is so fantastic, the camaraderie. Um, and Latinos in this country, there's 55 million plus. Mind you, under the umbrella of Latino, there's many different cultures, but we all definitely fight and deal with the same kind of reputation and the struggle living here in America, whether you're born here or you come across for the American dream. And I think that that kind of unity is needed, especially now during the election, that kind of unity is needed. Mm. And uh, to support one another and to, you know, live a human life. Your show has been, <laughs> been such a big hit. Have you felt that community come together behind you? Oh, for sure. I definitely. But it, what's beautiful about Jane is that I feel the love from every community and I could not be more grateful for that because mm -hmm. at the end of the day we all want the same things we want love and happiness and yeah. success and really our skin color only defines how much pigment we have it does not define anything yeah. else <laughs> and you are not <laughs> Of course, you are not defined only by doing the version of this new movie app Deepwater Horizon let's yes, take a look yes Original Vienna or Crate Motor? Original. Original. Let's go. You know, we might need to rebuild it. Look at me. Aim up higher, and we can jump up first. Okay? We're going to jump over the fire. Can't. Trust me. This looks like the real story behind the character. Tell us about your character. Uh, I play Andrea Fleitas, who was a dynamic positioning officer on the oil rig during the oil spill. A very young Latina right out of university uh, from San Diego. And uh, she was one of the only females on the oil rig during the explosion. I feel very, very grateful to be able to play her. Courageous, brave, was one of the survivors. But this film is about the human lives that we lost. It's about celebrating them and paying a tribute to them. Because during the oil spill, we were very familiar with the environmental crisis. We were very familiar with those images of the oil the in the animals. water and the animals covered. Yes. But we never, we never talked about the lives that were lost, the 11 yeah. lives that were wow. lost, and the, you know, the, I, you know, I, it's so interesting, this idea of like ordinary people doing extraordinary things, but you know, 
rather ordinary. We're all ordinary. We're all, you know, equal, and we all are capable of extraordinary things. And I think it's really great that we get to see that. We get to see that on screen. And Peter Berg is brilliant, and the movie is so good. Kurt Russell and Mark Wahlberg and John Malkovich and Kate Hudson, everybody's Dylan wow. O'Brien. They're all yes. so strong. Can I? Can I just say, just to wrap it up, you're, thank you for bringing the most delightful, positive oh, energy. <laughs> You will. Oh. If you want to be Here a she comes. You can still be a leader. Yeah, I, I, I have a huge. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't. I don't. I don't. Gina Rodriguez, everybody. Thank you. And Deep Water Horizon has to finish this Friday.